in order to preserve our home for future generations. We have to lighten our footprint on the planet as much as possible. Because of this, regulations on commercial refrigeration are becoming stricter. All of us want to live on a cleaner, greener planet, but the complexity of the rules going forward can understandably lead to indecision when it comes to your refrigeration choices. Fortunately, at Hill Phoenix, it's our business to understand the regulatory environment, and we can help clarify how the current and upcoming changes affect the retail food industry. Up to now, the refrigerant of choice in U.S. supermarkets has been R404A, which is a hydrofluorocarbon that is much better than the coolants it replaced. Having said that, it's still a greenhouse gas, which puts it under scrutiny from the EPA and other agencies. Let's do a quick overview of current and upcoming regulations to paint a clearer picture of the path forward. In 1996, chlorofluorocarbons were banned due to their high ozone depleting potential and global warming potential numbers. In 2010, two of the most widely used refrigerants at that time, including R22, were phased out. Use was only permitted for the maintenance of existing systems. Five years later, the remaining HCFCs were included in this phase-out that was started in 2010. As of 2020, any service done on legacy R22 or HCFC 142B systems can only be done with previously manufactured or recycled refrigerant. A proposed 2022 CARB regulation would not allow stationary refrigeration systems to use any refrigerant with a GWP equal to or higher than 150 if the system contains more than 50 pounds of that refrigerant. Another CARB proposed regulation would disallow refrigerants with a GWP greater than or equal to 750 to be used in chillers greater than negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit and ice rinks as well as refrigerants with a GWP greater than or equal to 2200 for lower temperature chillers from negative 15 degrees to negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit, effective January 2024. By 2030, the EPA phase-out of HCFCs will be complete. In light of current and upcoming regulations, you have two options. Either update or retrofit existing equipment or purchase and install new equipment. The need to choose will come sooner or later for everyone. Updating or retrofitting may be the answer for some. The short-term cost can be lower and the process is potentially less disruptive. On the other hand, installing new equipment typically has a higher cost associated with it up front, but more long-term viability. Those benefits come from replacing older, potentially leaking or otherwise problematic systems with new ones. New equipment also allows for the switch to natural refrigerants like CO2 and hydrocarbons such as propane. Natural refrigerants are typically less expensive to produce because they are more abundant. They have almost zero impact on the environment, are more efficient, and they help you get out in front of upcoming regulations. Whatever your decision, the answer is always Hill Phoenix and the AMS Group. We've been offering low GWP and low ODP solutions for years, and by working with us, you're leveraging our expertise. Our experts have years of experience navigating and complying with the complicated and sometimes confusing regulations from the EPA, the U.S. Climate Alliance, and especially CARB. We make compliance easy to understand and implement. In addition, Hill Phoenix offers a variety of products and services for turnkey solutions to regulation compliance, including the AMS Group's industry-leading engineering, installation, commissioning, and after-sales support. Contact Hill Phoenix today for more information on how we can help make your operation future compliant. Get in touch either by calling 770-285-3264 or visiting us online at hillphoenix.com.